Hi, this is Carter from the Cybots FTC Team 5975, and this will be the first Creo tutorial video for FTC. So this episode will be about installing Creo and getting it set up for the first time. So first we're going to go to cybotsrobotics.com. We have a page on our resources page where you can get all of the links for installing Creo and getting it set up. So first we're going to go to this link to set up an education account and this will be needed in order to get your license to use it for free for FTC teams. So you can either set this up with your your name or your team's name. So you could put in Cybots FTC, put in your email, Put in a phone number, put in your school, say I'll use it for first robotics, put in the age, and fill out the rest of this, and then you can submit that to sign up for your account. I already have one set up, so I'm not going to do it again. So now after you've done that, you can go back to our website again, and choose this link right here and that will take you to the install link so we're going to download the PTC Creo 3.0 DVD image now so there you'll put in your login so after you put in your login there you can read through the agreement continue you have to check the box below. There you go. So now you're at this page. You can choose the Creo 3.0 for Windows 32 bit or 64 bit. So we're just going to download that here. And this will take a little while, so. We'll fast forward through that. So here our download is just finished. So we're going to open it up. So inside of this folder, you'll want to go into the Setup Schools application here. So we'll run that. Might have to unzip it for uh, extract the folder first so we'll fast forward through that too so now that we're done unzipping the folder we can now run the setup schools may have to run as an administrator So once you have that running, we'll accept the agreement. And now you can choose what you want to install. So we'll just be installing Creo. You can also install MathCAD if you wish, but that's separate from Creo. So Creo is all selected, so now we can proceed with the install. Now this will take a while, so we're going to fast forward through this again. So now that the installation is done, we can click finish and now Creo is installed. So now what we're going to do is download the kit of parts. So you'll have all of the Tetrix parts. So you can do that by going to this link here on our website and then downloading 
all the parts here. So while that's downloading, we can start getting Creo set up. So the first thing we're gonna want to do is create a new folder on our desktop or wherever, and we'll call it working directory, or you can call it whatever you want as long as you know where it's at. And this is where you're going to keep all of your parts for your robot, including the kit of parts. So now we can open up the folder with the kit of parts, and we're going to extract this to our new folder we just created so that we have all of our parts in there. So now in our working directory we have all of the Lego and Chetrix parts. So now we are going to open up Creo right here. You can also do this from your desktop shortcut if you want. So now we have Creo open for the first time. And what you'll want to do as soon as you start Creo every time is choose select working directory. This is very important because you need to make sure all of your files are in the same place because if you save them to other places you'll have problems later. So we'll choose the working directory folder from the desktop. And now we have Creo set up and we can open any parts from here. You can also switch the view to be thumbnails so you can see the Tetrix parts easier. That's under views right here. So now we can open up any of these parts. We can create new parts and you can tune into the next video to learn more about working with the files and creating new assemblies. Thanks for watching and we'll have more videos coming soon.